For step one, we need to create a username called BizHub. Go to the lower left hand corner of your screen and left click the start button. Right click on computer and select manage from the menu. Now left click on the arrow next to local users and groups and right click on the folder labeled users. Select new user from the pop up menu. We're going to give this user a name of BizHub. B I Z H U B. I did it in all lowercase. It doesn't matter if you use uppercase or lowercase. Just make sure you be consistent throughout the whole process. We're going to use um, a default password we like to use, which is exclamation point, uppercase P, A S S W O R D, exclamation point. And we're going to put it in the second box as well to confirm. Now uncheck the first box and check the two middle boxes. So user cannot change password and password never expires. Make sure your screen looks like this before you continue. Now click create to create the username. Click close. Now go up to users and click on users, double click BizHub, click the member of tab, we're going to click users and then click remove, click on OK, and now close that window and that's the end of step one. Step two, we want to create a folder to scan to with the name of my scans and create a desktop shortcut to this folder. Click on the start button in the lower left hand corner of your screen. Now click on computer, double click local disk C, and you can either right click in any space, uh, any white space, and highlight new and select folder. This can also be done with this button up here labeled new folder. And we just want to give that folder a name of my scans. Hit enter. Now right click on the folder go to properties left click on the sharing tab now we want to click share now we created a user named bizhub in step one and we want to allow this user to access to this folder so type b-i-z-h-u-b and click add now bizhub only has the rights to read this folder we want to change this so left click on the arrow and select read and write now left click on the share button at the bottom of the screen just be patient it takes just a moment click on done. So now our folder is shared out and BizHub has access to it. Just to make sure he has full access we're going to left click on advanced sharing, click on permissions, now we're going to click the add button. We're going to add BizHub in here as well so type B-I-Z-H-U-B, left click OK, Basically, if that pops up, that's asking you if you're trying to find that user 
on the domain and yeah, it's a good good example that that did pop up um, I forgot this time but basically from this location we can left click on locations and we want to change that to the computer so just select the computer from the top of the list click OK now if we click OK it'll find BizHub on that local computer and we want to click full control now BizHub has full control of this folder now just for left click OK click OK again and we can left click on the security tab at the top just to make sure BizHub is in here and he has full control so now just close that out last thing you're gonna do is right click on the my scans folder highlight send to from the pop-up menu and left click on desktop create shortcut now we can close this window and that completes step two Step three, we need to create a one touch on the copier in order to scan to the computer. Uh, first thing we need to do is get the IP address of the copier. The easiest way to do this is if you're already set up to print, uh, we can go to start and we need to go to the print driver. So we either go to devices and printers, or if you don't have that, we can go to control panel and then go to view devices and printers. Then we find the print driver that we're working with, which is the Konica Minolta C220-28360. We want to right click and go to printer properties from the pop-up menu. And select the ports tab at the top. And then we're going to mouse over between ports and descriptions, click and drag to the right that expands the port column so we can see what we're looking at here scroll down and you will find the port that we're printing to which is 192.168.1.66 go ahead and write that down um, we're going to be using that in just a moment so we can cancel out of that uh, we can close this window now I'm going to go to the browser now the internet browser um, you can use Internet Explorer. I choose to use Firefox. I think it works a little bit better with our machines. Um, works a little bit better in general. So we're going to open up Firefox. And we're going to go to the top here and select the full address and just delete that. And we're going to type in the IP address 192.168.1.66. press enter and then it's going to bring us to the page inside the BizHub C360 um, the BizHub C360 just has a whole bunch of symbols to click on um, rather than just being named uh, if you look at the bottom down here in the status bar you'll see the name when you mouse over so this one's job this one's box print ABBR which stands for abbreviation possibly um, that's our address book anyway we're gonna click on this orange symbol um, that goes to our address book and then we're gonna click new registration uh, select the bullet next to SMB and click OK we're gonna give this one touch a name I'm gonna use my first name we uh, which is Jared we can use um, office one it can be Bob's computer, it could be anything. Um, I'm just going to use my first name and where my name would be found in the alphabet. We're just going to go by first name, so JKL. Um, checking this box next to main puts it on the main screen. If you have less than 10 or 15 people in your office, you know, you could probably put everybody on the main screen. Um, I believe it holds like 15, kind of guessing, but 
if you have a large number of people you might only want to put you know the important people on the main screen you know and the rest of them can just thumb through the address book to find them uh, we're going to use the host name to scan to so please check here to enter host name and to get the host name of your computer we're going to go down to the start button we're going to right click on computer and select properties from the pop-up menu and now our host name is going to be the full computer name Acer that's without the dot high tech office systems dot local we don't want that part we just want the first part before the first dot which is A-C-E-R okay whether or not that's in all caps we always want to put this name in all caps um, it's been known to cause some issues if you don't put it in all caps our file path is going to be my scans all over case that's the folder we created earlier we named it my scans so that's the file path we're going to use the user ID is lowercase b i z h u b and the password we created if you remember it was exclamation point uppercase p a s s w o r d exclamation point now we're going to click okay address book registration is complete that's all we need to know just click OK and we can go ahead and close this window and that completes step three uh